Good evening, I'm Larry East up in the Central Illinois Weather Network Weather Center. We're still monitoring a number of tornadic storms across portions of Indiana and Ohio and approaching several major metropolitan areas this evening just after 9 p.m. Central Time, 10 p.m. Eastern Time on this Saturday evening. Let's go straight to the radars with Storm Lab. We'll show you what we're talking about. You're looking here at the radar now from Wilmington, Ohio again with Storm Lab and let's go in a little closer on these uh, cells that are just continuing to pummel this area to the east of Cincinnati and Dayton this evening. Uh, most of the southern half of uh, Ohio has seen severe weather and they're continuing to uh, spawn a number of tornado warnings. Let's uh, give you the latest warning for northern Brown County. Brown County here on your radar uh, would be the uh, county here to the north. Uh, of um, what we're trying to locate here. <laughs> Brown County here, a new warning just coming out uh, here for uh, folks in the MacArthur area. Uh, this particular warning here is a severe thunderstorm warning. That uh, warning now uh, going till 1045 this evening. But let's uh, zoom back out here and again try to locate this uh, this uh, warning that we've got uh, that has just come out uh, for this storm further to the west of the storms we were looking at uh, a little bit earlier. Brown County right here uh, north of Georgetown. We'll get the radar back here for you and show you uh, this uh, particular cell. Uh, it's got a, a very pr a very pronounced V-notch with it. Uh, this particular storm is uh, approaching the Hillsborough area. Here's what the warning text says from about nine minutes ago. National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado located near Chase Town, moving east at 35. Locations impacted in this particular warning, Hillsborough, Belfast, and Mar uh, Marshall. Again, this would be this storm here. Here's Hillsborough. Uh, we're going to zoom in a little closer here and try to show you this. Uh, well, we zoomed in uh, to the wrong cell. We'll show you that one in a moment. Let's go over here again to the Hillsboro area. Here's here's Hillsboro. This storm moving towards the east at 35. Let's check velocity on this on this and see what uh, we're showing. Very dark reds. Uh, surrounded by uh, green here tells us uh, we've got some rotation most likely with this. Let's put this in motion and watch this as it moves into uh, this uh, southern Highland County and northern Brown County uh, over the past hour or so and watch this red and green uh, just really kind of start to drop into the picture here. Uh, see that storm further to the north but uh, last uh, frame here shows that very clearly just uh, racing into a northern Brown County. Again, this tornado warning in effect until 1030 tonight. We'll leave this in motion, pull out a little bit, and, and tell you we still have tornado warnings for about another 10 minutes uh, for Adams County, Eastern Brown County, and southwestern Scioto County in southwest Ohio. Uh, this uh, particular storm has also had a history of funnel cloud reports and spotter reports uh, of uh, tornadoes with this line as it's moved through. Uh, we're also uh, looking at a warning that uh, that one here is expired, so we'll uh, set that one to the side. Northeastern Highland County, northwestern Pike County, southwestern Ross County under a tornado warning for about another 10 minutes. All these storms are racing off to the east and they've been fairly consistent at about uh, 25 to 30 miles per hour. As you can see, we'll stop this here and get in again on some of these cells. This cell uh, over uh, northern parts of Claremont County uh, still has some pretty nasty looking uh, uh, cell or, or rather um, reflectivity coming back with it. Uh, Clinton County looks like the Wilmington area fairly uh, much in the clear right at the moment from this cell that uh, has really moved out of that area. Uh, northern Highland County again uh, looking at a pretty nasty cell over through the Greenfield area. Uh, over Fayette County, no warning for that, but that looks like a very nasty cell as well. We can move back over to the Chillicothe area and show you this uh, particular cell here. Moving out of the tornado watcher, the severe thunderstorm watch area now, this entire line uh, is really uh, still packing a punch. I would not be surprised at all to see another uh, watch issued further to the east. Uh, look at that just to the south of Chillicothe there under that tornado warning. Uh, that is still really intense uh, right uh, in the uh, town there, Chillicothe. A very intense uh, red and green mixture there, which tells us we're getting uh, ground level rotation. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that as this storm continues to really pack a punch. Also a tornado warning for that particular cell for Ross County in southwest Ohio and that would be in effect until 1030 Kingston in the path of that storm as well. Uh, tornado warning again uh, for about another uh, five minutes southwestern Ross County, northwestern Pike County, northeastern Highland County and uh, tornado warning for um, the folks again 
in eastern Ross County until 10.30 tonight. So a lot of warnings coming in right at the moment with these particular cells, and again, they're continuing the same path. Let's go over to Indianapolis once again and show you these uh, storms that are continuing to pummel the Rushville area right at the moment and uh, Indianapolis Metro. Uh, none of the storms here now have tornado warnings with them, but still a very intense line of storms put these in motion and show you uh, these storms continue to trek along to the southeast at around 25 to 30 miles per hour, fairly densely populated region here and luckily this is not Indy 500 weekend so we're not talking about as many folks out uh, uh, side as would have been last week had these storms moved through at the same time but now moving south of uh, looks like here uh, south of I-74 uh, in the Speedway area and right around the loop uh, 465 approaching the airport now uh, these cells uh, again coming from the west are going to approach that same area you can see the radar site here that's Indianapolis Airport uh, just along I-70 I-70 stretching down here south south of Plainfield, these uh, are following the path between I-70 and I-74, I-74 to the north from Lisden into Speedway. You're clear now, but just to the south of you through Danville and Hendricks County, again over through Indianapolis, Beach Grove, Cumberland, uh, you're seeing the last year storm, Rocky Ripple, and Meridian Hills just saw some storms move through there, south of Fortville in Hancock County, those storms uh, continue to pack a punch there. Beach Grove has the leading edge of this storm right now, and we'll uh, take a look at that. Uh, you've got lightning your west, I'm sure, over Southport. Let's put lightning on this and show you the intense uh, lightning we've been seeing. Well, of course, I show you it, and there's not a whole lot there right at the moment. But these storms have lost a little bit of their punch. Again, not tornadic at the moment. We're not seeing a whole lot of rotation in most areas. But we are watching this area southeast of Beach Grove because it is showing some reds and greens mixing together. And uh, that could be something of concern. Not sure if that uh, is producing any funnel cloud reports we haven't heard in the past few minutes. Back over central Illinois, we were going to show you the storms over Champaign County about uh, 20 minutes ago, but they have just raced off to the southeast. There's really even no lightning with these now. Uh, now this storm just east of uh, I-57 in Tuscola really has lost all of its intensity. Storms a little earlier over Decatur looked nasty, but really didn't produce a whole lot. And uh, these storms have really died out since the sun has set in the past half hour or so. So not a lot to worry about. We'll zoom out here and show you. Uh, really, uh, I believe the watch over most of central Illinois will be canceled here very shortly as the front uh, continues to race off towards the southeast and uh, really isn't going to play much of a factor uh, any further in our weather over central Illinois or the Springfield area as all these storms again have raced off further. Let's go to the Ohio Valley radar one more time and show you these storms approaching uh, just to the west of the Louisville, Kentucky metropolitan area up towards Indianapolis area and then this uh, mess of storms right now moving into the Charleston, West Virginia area. Going to have to watch out there. The leading edge of these storms coming out of Ohio also producing a supercell that looks like uh, just to the west of the Ashland, Kentucky area. And therefore, the National Weather Service out of Charleston, West Virginia, issuing a, tour, or rather a severe thunderstorm warning. That's a good sign uh, for the Huntington, West Virginia area. And uh, just to the southwest of Charleston, uh, this includes uh, the area south of Hurricane over Putnam County, extreme western Kanawha County, and most of Lincoln County, West Virginia, under that storm warning. And uh, further to the south right now, no warnings. Uh, right now over a number of counties in Kentucky just to the south of Moorhead and Salt Lick right now. Uh, those uh, particular counties not under a warning but uh, pretty nasty looking cell there as you can see uh, in Rowan County and Elliott County right now moving towards the south. And again back up to the uh, uh, north. Uh, this area again I believe we'll start to see probably a tornado watch issued uh, here shortly for areas to the south and east of Columbus that are not under any watch right now and over probably the portions of uh, western West Virginia as we're getting again warnings moving out of the current severe thunderstorm watch here and into uh, uh, the area that is not in effect uh, for a watch up around Parkersburg West Virginia you're gonna feel these storms probably see them to the west I'm sure a pretty nasty light show going on there and uh, more storms coming in that same general direction as you can see closer down towards Louisville Kentucky severe thunderstorm warnings with these cells we're looking at these from the Wilmington Ohio radar so they're definitely pretty intense uh, when we can see them from that radar range and uh, again these over Perry County and Breckenridge County south of Irvington in Kentucky seeing a pretty nasty uh, cell there and uh, then it looks like a cell also uh, over northern Harrison County just north of I-64 in the Cordon area will move towards New Albany if it can continues along its current path in the next half hour. That is the latest as we see it right at the moment from the Central Illinois Weather Network. I'm Larry Eastend.